Welcome back. In our last lesson, we planned out the fields that we're going to be using in our database table. And in this lesson, we're going to build the table using a MySQL editor. In my case, I'm using a desktop application called SQL Pro for the Mac, but there are many others to choose from, including the old browser-based favorite phpMyAdmin. So let's create the empty table for a start. I'm going to name it jaws underscore hello underscore messages. As a rule, I try to namespace the tables I use for different components with the component name to help avoid naming collisions with other extensions. In order to support the international community, we must always select UTF-8 as the table encoding. Now, my editor has given me an ID field for free, but it's not exactly how I want it. I'm going to make the field unsigned because we can never have a negative primary key. I'll set the default to zero because it's an integer field, and then in the extra column, I'm going to select auto increment. This means that when you add new records to the database, it will actually assign the next number as the ID for the new record. Now, as I save that, and because I've set the field to auto increment, it's going to ask me if I want to make this field the primary key. And yes, I want to do that. When the field saves, you'll also notice that allow null unchecks. So let's go ahead and start adding all the other fields. Category ID is an int and will give it a width of 11. Note that for integers, the width does not control the number of bytes. It's actually the column width used when you're printing out the table from the command line in MySQL. We'll give it a default of zero and we also want this field to be unsigned because remember, it's a foreign key to the categories table. Next, we'll add the title field and I'm going to make this a var char with a width of 100. That means I can have a title up to 100 characters long. A varchar is a very efficient field because it only takes up enough disk space to store the actual length of the text to the maximum width. So if the title is 12 characters long, the database will only store 12 characters on disk. However, when it comes to reading that field from the database, PHP will actually allocate the maximum memory to hold the field. Not only that, but it will be more than 100 bytes because our table is encoded using UTF-8. So each single character actually takes up three bytes. In other words, 100 letters will take up 300 bytes of memory. Still fairly trivial in the grand scheme of things. I'll set the default to no string since we don't want it to be a null value. By the way, if you do allow nulls, it actually takes an extra byte to store the null state. So it's a good idea not to allow nulls unless you particularly need it. With that slight diversion, let's get back on track. The next field is the alias field, and I generally make this exactly the same as whatever I made the title to be. The next field is the body text, and this will be an interesting one. A, a varchar can, in MySQL 5, store up to about 20 kilobytes of data. That's a lot, but I think for a field that will have a WYSIWYG editor, it's a bit risky. I could use a text field and that would bump me up to 65 kilobytes, but I've seen some long messages in my time, so I'm going to use a medium text field, which will give me a very comfortable 16 meg of clearance. That should be plenty of room. The next field is a note field, and I'm just going to make that a simple varchar with a width of 255 characters. You could bump this up a bit if you wanted to give more space for a note, say 1024 characters, but it's up to you. Just remember that the maximum memory that a field can take up is 65 kilobytes. However, that excludes blob and text fields. Okay, now we get into some of the standard fields. Published will be a signed int with a default of zero. It must be signed because Joomla uses the value minus two to indicate a record has been put in the trash. If you wanted to save a bit of memory and disk space, you could make this field a tiny int, and that would give you a range of plus or minus 127, which would be adequate for most circumstances. Ordering is an int. I usually make it signed just in case Joomla ever supports both negative and positive ordering. Access, I've made an unsigned small int, and that will give me a range up to 65,000 view levels. If a site has more than that, I think the site is in real trouble and needs to be rethought. I did not opt for a tiny int because that would only give me up to 256 access levels. That's a pretty unusual site, but it's not impossible either. 
Next is the language field, and I make that a char field with a width of 7 characters, because that's the length of the ISO code. Next is the MetaDesk field, and I'm going to make it a wide varchar with 512 characters. Then, for the meta key, I'm going to use a varchar with only 255 characters. You can vary the lengths of these fields in practice to suit the needs of either your project or your users. Moving on, next is the checked out fields, and that will be an unsigned int with a default of zero. Following that will be the checked out time field, and this will be a date time field, and we set the default to the MySQL null date, which is year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, all as zeros. The next two pairs of fields for the created user and time and the modified user in time are exactly the same as the checked out pair of fields. And that's it. If I jump over to another tab in the editor, I can have a quick look at the table create statement. We'll need that later when we get to the point of packaging our extension. For now though, take a break and when we come back, we'll look at the JTable class we need to create that allows Joomla to load and save our data. See you back soon. There's always something you forget, isn't there? I forgot to add the params field. This field holds options for the record in JSON format. Now, there's a few thoughts about what the field type should be. At the moment, I've made it a varchar with 1024 characters. I don't expect to hold a lot of options, so I've made it quite small. If you're supporting a large number of options, you might consider increasing that to maybe five or 6,000 characters. If you're storing text area options, like custom messages, it's probably better to look at one of the text field types. Your text type will give you room for 65,000 bytes, but because of UTF-8 encoding, that only gives you about 21,000 characters. If you need more than that, a medium text type will give you 16 million bytes, or around 5.5 million characters. The decision on the type of field comes down to how much control you have over the options. In this simple case, we have a lot of control, so I'm choosing a modest allowance for the data in this field. However, in Joomla 1.6, it's possible for another developer to extend the options with plugins. If you think your content is likely to be extended, then it's probably just safer to go with a text or medium text type rather than using a wide varchar.